What's happening everybody? Steve here, Cars with Steve, and today I'm going to show you how to set up Android Auto and Apple CarPlay inside of the 2022 Ford Explorer. Now this is going to be for the smaller 8-inch media screen. Let's get it. Next up is going to be our phone. So as you can see as of right now, we currently don't have any phones connected to the vehicle. And it's really straightforward in order to be able to do it. So what we're going to do firstly is just hit add Search phone. Search for your vehicle on your device and select it once it is found. On our phone, we're just going to make sure Bluetooth is turned on. And we're just waiting for... And we go Ford Explorer to show up and we're going to connect Confirm there. that the pin displayed on sync matches the pin displayed on your device. Right. And the numbers match up, so pair and yes. Do we want to allow contacts and favorites for to sync up? Safety, yeah, we'll say no for this one. Alert to changing road conditions and use sync's voice activated features while your vehicle is in motion. Okay, so currently connected there, automatic contact download, yes or no. And then we've also got our 911 assist. So we always recommend turning 911 assist on. And the big reason why is because if this thing is connected to your phone, the vehicle is connected to your phone, I should say, if you're in an accident, the vehicle is going to automatically dial 911 for us. So we're just gonna hit finish, and as you can see, I'm fully connected. We've got my call list, contacts, my phone. If we had multiple phones connected, we could literally just hit change phone there, and it's gonna pull us up to this main screen as well. We can jump back again. In order to jump back to our phone, we've got a few options there. Now, as of right now, we don't have Siri enabled on the phone, but if we did, we could press the voice command prompt on the steering wheel to get our Siri Assist in there as well. But that's the basics of actually setting up a phone. We've got our keypad, so we can dial through this way as well if we want to. But one of the nice things is that inside of this vehicle, we also do have support for Android Auto Apple CarPlay. So setting up Apple CarPlay, straightforward. Starting off with our USB cable, we're gonna plug that into that front USB port there. Opposite end of the cable, we're literally just gonna plug ourselves in and we're just gonna unlock the phone. Perfect, Apple CarPlay. So we just need to continue there and we just have to make sure we agree to the settings there. Do we want to allow CarPlay while the phone is locked? Yes, we're going to allow that. And one, two, three, we are connected. So we've got my phone, we've got my messages, we've got Apple Maps, we've got Google Maps, we've got Waze. We can use all of these directly through the middle screen. And that's a great thing because even if yours doesn't have factory navigation, we still have the option of using all of these different map applications directly through this middle screen and it's stretched out across the entire screen there. And it is nice, like we do have some flexibility as to the way that this thing looks and even what content is showing up on the screen. If we go into our general settings on our phone, we go into CarPlay, we could literally look for this. Oh, I'm gonna have to guess now, is it this one? Customize, let's do a drag and drop, bam. Perfect, that is the right one. Okay, so on the main screen there, we can literally adjust this as necessary. So you can see there, we've readjusted our audiobooks and podcasts. We can remove things as well. So we can literally customize this tray to look how we want it to look. So if you wanted ways along the top there as well, we can kind of adjust this as necessary. Any apps that we've deleted are gonna be on the, on the bottom. If you've played around with it too much and you don't like the look, we just hit reset reset screen layout and that's just going to bring us back to our factory default screen there instead. So we do have quite a little bit of flexibility as to what's actually showing up on this screen. Now if we want to get back to the main sync screen we can literally just unplug the disconnect or we just hit the sync button there. That brings us back to the main screen. We can jump back into Apple CarPlay if we want to. We can jump on our CarPlay preferences so we can remove the phone. We can disable Apple CarPlay as well. And that's really useful because if you want to be charged up without using CarPlay that's literally how it's going to happen. But one of the great things is that even if we're using CarPlay inside the vehicle, we still do have the flexibility of, let's say, using Apple Maps while we've got our radio playing there instead. So we could literally be Sirius XM with a radio, etc. Now, if for whatever reason we turn the vehicle off, we go to turn the vehicle back on, we plug in again, it'll automatically relaunch into our CarPlay settings there as well if we've already accepted, etc. And moving back, so we've got our main summary screen there again. Back again, we can now go forward sync, which again brings us back to this main screen. So we've got our Apple CarPlay there. We go back to our home screen, which brings us back to this one. We can CarPlay preferences, remove phone, and that's remove the phone from the vehicle for CarPlay. And then we can fully disable if we wanted to as well. So we do have some flexibility there. So as you can see, phone is now disabled and we scroll across. We've got Apple CarPlay there. We remove the phone, remove. And as you can see there, Apple CarPlay is now gone from this setting screen. So it will show up again if we go to plug the phone in, but it literally is that simple adding a phone in and connecting to Apple CarPlay inside of this vehicle. All right, now setting up an Android device is literally the exact same process. So if you weren't on this screen, let's say you're on the main screen there, you're on the home screen, etc. we can jump into phone on the bottom. We are still connected to the iPhone. So we can go to change phone this way, 
or we go to settings along the bottom and we click phone there. We can view devices, manage contacts, we can mute out when we're in privacy mode and we've got a few other options. We go view devices and we can easily add in another Search device. Search your vehicle on your device and select it once it is found. So we're literally going to do that. So on our Bluetooth, we're going to scan and we're going to look for our Ford Explorer there. Confirm that the pin displayed on sync matches the pin displayed on your device. Everything's matched up, so that's great. For your great. safety, please stay alert to changing road conditions and use sync's voice activated features while your vehicle is in motion. And we are connected. Now, a couple things to point out. Because we've got our f another phone connected, we could set one as the favorite. So if we set one as the favorite, it's if both phones are in the vehicle at the same time, which one is going to be connected? So what's the connection priority? So we can set that one up to be this one we just connected, whatever other phones, etc. And we can do that later on as well. We hit finish there and we are now fully connected to the vehicle. So as you can see, we hop into our phone, we've got my calls, we've got my contacts, we've got the phone itself. We can change out to multiple devices and then we can literally select one of the others. So we can connect to media, we can connect to media there and we can remove it as well. Hopping inside, we can disconnect it, make it a favorite, or we can remove it from the vehicle. So literally that simple, we hit remove, remove the phone, and the original iPhone is now deleted. So it's that simple being able to add and remove phones from the vehicle. And then very similar to what we saw on the Apple side of things, we can also use Android Auto. Straightforward, we take our USB cable, we plug it into that same port, take the opposite end, just plug ourselves in, boom, and we're going to give a second there. Okay, Android Auto extends the platform, so we need to continue. On the phone, we have to hit next, and we agree to the settings there, and literally takes a second, so Assistant will be right with us. Perfect. And here we go. So as you can see, we are fully connected. So literally that simple. We can press the button along the very bottom there to get to some additional settings. So our root guidance options and a number of other things. We've got our notification center as well as the Google Assistant. So we press this button in order to get to the main Android Auto screen again. So we've got our weather, maps, podcasts, and a number of other things that are available. And we can also customize the display. Now we don't have the same customization options that are available on the iPhone side of things, but we still do have a few options that are available. So literally all we're gonna do is on our phone, we're just gonna search for Android Auto. Once we found it, we're gonna go for Android Auto settings and we're gonna click through. As you can see, we've got previously connected cars. We can customize the launcher. So we literally are just gonna go drag, boom, we're gonna drop. Now, one thing to note, we do actually have to close down Android Auto and relaunch in order for any changes we make here to come into effect along the screen. So it's not like the iPhone side of things where it's dynamic. We do actually have to change a few things around and then we have to relaunch in order for these, say, for these changes to take into effect. But we can customize the launcher. We've got our, hey Google, voice detection there as well. So as you can see, we've got our voice assistant there as well. We've got our day night mode for maps. We've got Android Auto while the phone is locked, weather, and a number of other things. So we have quite a few options and a lot of flexibility that's available there. If we jump back into our Ford button there, that's going to bring us back to our sync screen. We go back home. We can hot button press to get into Android Auto. We can look at our preferences so we can completely disable Android Auto. We can remove the Galaxy from the vehicle there as well. So we can go back home and it's that simple. So if we wanted to, we could literally just unplug and look at that. So we are fully connected there. So that's the way that this is going to look with our maps, etc. If for whatever reason we didn't have factory navigation in our vehicle, like I said, you can use Google Maps, Apple Maps, Waze, things like that, but connecting through either Android Auto or Apple CarPlay. Jumping into our settings there and scrolling across, Android Auto, we haven't actually removed the phone from yet. So we remove it and watch this. Android Auto is also gone, so it's that simple. We jump into our phone, we can view devices, and we can add a Bluetooth device, or we can add Galaxy, etc. So we do have some flexibility as to what's going on here. We can disconnect, or we can completely remove the phone, and three, two, one, and the phone is now deleted from the vehicle, and it literally is that simple, setting up an Android or an iPhone device in this vehicle. Well, that was a look at setting up Android Auto and Apple CarPlay inside of the 2022 Ford Explorer. I'm like, fingers crossed, hopefully by 23 or 24, we get the wireless solution instead, but still pretty straightforward nonetheless. But if you ran into any problems, you have any questions, drop down in the comments section below and let me know. More than willing to talk you through any problems that you might be having. But if you enjoyed the video, thumbs up and share it with your social networks. And until I see you next time, take care.